Seems like we might be back. All right. Um. Back into here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, it's a bit stormy right now, so there's a chance that my internet might have gone out for a moment, but that doesn't usually happen, so not really sure, but <laughs> thank you all for bearing with me. Um, tonight we are working on this random Kurisu fan art, or not fan art, fan canon art, um, with Huey riding on a pair. Um, so yeah. I hope you're all having a good night so far. Huey stole the Wi-Fi. Yeah, probably. He's gone rogue with pears. Oh no. You're gonna steal all the pears in all the supermarkets? I hope not. That would be really rebellious, even for him. Which, by the way, if anybody has ever dealt with huskies before, they know how um, rambunctious they can be sometimes. And broadcasting. Uh, yeah, Hunter, you may have to update your or refresh your browser because um, we lost connection for a moment. would Huey even do with all the pears he stole? Um, I don't know. It would depend on whether or not he likes them. Um, because I've learned with fruit, if he does not like it, he will take half a bite and then leave it to rot in the middle of the floor. So I always have to pay attention if we're trying new fruits because, um, yeah, like I said, it gets kind of messy if he ends up not liking something.
Oh no, pear army. It's just like the frog army you were building. Zombie pears. Oh no. Points in blaming you, you did not know Huey has radioactive bite that can make pears into zombies, and that's why they rot when having- Oh my gosh. Just realized. How am I even coming up with these stories? Oh my gosh. I don't know, Sniper. Every day's an adventure, <laughs> so... You know. All right, so the thunder is really close right here. Um, so if we lose connection again, it is probably because of the storm. Just sort of a heads up for everyone. Um, I would say like if we do lose connection again, give it about, if you're willing, maybe five minutes. And if I'm not back after five minutes, then... Uh, We'll go ahead and just cancel the rest of the stream, but I don't anticipate that happening, just so we sort of have a contingency plan. <laughs> Call my internet company and complain about the weather. You ridiculous, Kuro.
Did my stream, like, did it disconnect again? It doesn't seem like it isn't working. What would you do if Huey turned into a cat because he ate magic kibble? Um, I don't know. That That's a good question. I'm sure things probably wouldn't change too much. He'd just be a bit smaller. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, that is a good point, Kuro. I don't know if he would end up being a smaller cat or a bigger cat, considering that huskies are, like... I mean, they're not huge dogs, but they're not small. If Huey turned into a cat, would he still bark or meow since he meowed before? What? Who said that he meowed? I'm confused.
I'm not sure. Um, a barking cat would be kind of cool, though. Oh my gosh. I will take your word for it, Sniper, because I'm really not sure what he would say if he was a cat. Oh my gosh, Sniper is starting our rave with a bunch of cheese, and it smells like cheese now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much cheese. If I'll take your word for it, but I respectfully disagree. <laughs> A cheese phase? <laughs> What's that? Take your word for it, sniper. I 
What if Huey had his own game and he was the main character? Maybe. Honestly, it would probably be easier to make the art for that game versus if I ever considered making a Kurisu game. So maybe. Who knows? Kurisu game sounds cool to play. Uh, maybe eventually. Because, like, I've considered making a side-scroller eventually, but I would need a team of people to collaborate with, because I'm not, like, I'm not super familiar with, like, the programming side of things, but I could definitely just put together the art for the project. Not sure what the theme would be. Probably lean towards adventure. Yui in Magic Kip World <laughs> Curious Duke Chronicles. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. <laughs>
here, good sniper. Uh, I just realized the way I drew Huey made you remember your Palamute looks like Huey from Monster Hunt. With the blue eyes though, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, welcome to Fox er, welcome to the stream, Foxtrot. Oh my gosh. Also, your Palamute had red eyes and kind of the same ears as the drawing. Awesome. Yeah, I understand that, Sniper. But you've been busy playing other games, like uh, Final Fantasy and Smash Brothers. So it makes sense.
Looks like Foxtrot used my Hydrate Redeem. And to answer your question, Sniper Huey is doing fantastic today. Uh, uh, looks like he is taking a nap right now. Might be asleep for the rest of the night because it is not really late, but like it's evening here. Uh, but yeah, as far as our Hydrate Redeem goes, tonight I'm just drinking water. So nothing too exciting. All right, and uh, for Foxtrot, uh, that portion, portion, portion of our stream was uh, staying hydrated with Kukukurisu. <laughs> Yay, hydration. <laughs> right. I, I don't usually remix things, so, uh, that was special just for you. <laughs> How did I first meet Huey? Um, are we talking like fan canon or like in real life? Because I actually got him from a breeder, which believe it or not is actually the reason why I am generally opposed to dog breeders because at the time I thought I had done a lot of research and that I was getting him from like a reputable location but turns out going along with like the majority statistic i purchased him from a backyard breeder that had virtually no idea what they were doing um and so not only was he inbred which is something I didn't find out until after I got the AKC paperwork. Um, because he is actually registered. Um, but they had also told me to get certain vaccines for him. That when I told the vet, like, because I set up the appointment to get the vaccines. And the vet's like, um, he's way too young for these, like... You need to bring him back when he's like at least like let's see i think he was like six months old at the time and they're like yeah he needs to be at least a year before he takes these so i can only imagine what the breeder had given to him but he has been well taken care of since i've 
had him, so that's all I really care about, I guess, at this point. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Uh, that was just, um, a story, I guess. Um, and also a reason to adopt rather than purchase from breeders. Because even though the dogs that you find, like, in, like, like, in the pound or wherever you might adopt them from, like, even though they might also have different health concerns, like, at the end of the day, most of the time, if a dog isn't quote-unquote purebred, like, it's a lot less likely to have health issues just because there's more variation in the genetics. So that is one reason why I am all about adopting versus buying from a breeder. Yeah, definitely. I cannot imagine life without him. Because, like, I've had him since I was in high school. So, uh, he's been involved in my life for a while. <laughs> Hey, welcome to chat, Julius. No need to apologize. I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, I totally get that, Hunter. It is always difficult to lose a pet. And even though I know that was a while ago, you definitely have my sympathy, because that's one of those things you never really get over. Hey, welcome to chat, Evisar. I'm glad to have you here. You're fine, Julius. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Tonight we are working on what I consider Kurisu fan cannon art. Um, the reason I call it fan cannon is because it's not exactly like within actual story as far as my character's background, um, but based instead on details that have been decided in chat. Um, just lore that people have randomly come up with over time. Um, so here we have a picture of Kirisu next to my dog, who happens to be riding a pair. We're unsure of the pair's origin or how it got to be as large as it is, whether it was just a large pair or if it's because of a magic spell or we don't know. But yeah. Oh, thank you.
It's a candied pear that came from a candied mountain. Oh my gosh, Julius. I mean, I guess. Like, we can add that to the list of things. Uh, well, I would now accept it, especially with two older cats, Milo and Salem, and later down for the younger one, Honey. And Osiris. Yeah. I understand. Because, like, once a pet gets to a certain age, you're kind of like... I don't know. Like, dreading and anticipating just because you know that... Yeah. Just the inevitabilities that eventually happen. Um, unfortunately, I don't recognize that reference, Hunter. Sadie Mo Pokemon. Welcome to chat, by the way. Oh, yay, head packs. Oh, if it isn't an Inuyasha reference, um, that is actually one of the few series that are older that I haven't seen. Because um, I did actually start watching it at one point, but unfortunately, that was during a time when anime was a lot harder to access, so I never got around to actually finishing the series. But it wasn't bad, so I might take the time to watch it eventually when I have time. <laughs> we'll just see how things go, I guess. A friend's head pat. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Uh, the main princess Kag Kagura or Japanese folklore. Uh, not a bad series to continue in your free time. I appreciate that, Pokemon. Like, it's always good to, like, hear feedback from people, because, like, there are some series that are not worth watching. Um, and, like, I don't know. Like, there are some where people will be like, oh, yeah, that series sucks, and then it ends up actually being a decent series. But I kind of just play it by ear. Because, like, usually those all still end up considering or like watching part of it um but i'm usually actually more hesitant to watch the series that everybody says are great because usually those are kind of like so so it actually ended a couple years ago Sure. It doesn't look like it said it twice here, so maybe it was your internet connection, Julius. JoJo specifically, for example, is one, in your opinion, that really depends on the person. Yeah, that's one that I have actually tried multiple times to watch because there are so many people who are into that series. Um, but I cannot get past the first episode. It's a combination between not liking the art style and, like, even though it's just the first episode and usually, like, everything isn't, like, I don't know, like, you can't really get an idea for the whole story with just one episode, but just the way the story is presented makes it really hard to get into. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> JoJo is too ridiculous for me. Yeah, I agree. recommend reading the manga. Yeah, that's fair. I might consider that.
And we'll just skip part one and two if you don't quite like the time period. The real action starts in part three. That's fair. Uh, unless you're talking about the spinoff with his daughter. I know the one you're talking about there. Also, Araki's art style really changes from part to part. He has a very feminine character style now. Interesting. Probably trying to adjust with what's popular, maybe? Because I know that that tends to be what is most popular at the moment. Yeah, but skipping around when something feels wrong to do. Yeah, that's fair. Um, unless the different parts are like completely detached from each other, I totally agree. Um, for Hunter, it's Inuyasha and Ranma one half. I've never actually watched that one. Uh, also, wish JoJo's part skipping with JoJo's part skipping is very reasonable because it's like a hard reset story each part. Oh my gosh. The only things you wouldn't get are small joke references. Um, check out Hakata Tonkotsu Ramens. Is that an anime? awesome um so i am going to be right back uh just going to run to the restroom real quick if you could all give me just a couple minutes but i will be right back in a moment thanks everyone Alright, I'm back. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Oh, thanks, Sniper.
let's see. The anime is about a bunch of hitmen. And it's chaotic and funny at times. Oh my gosh. The main character is a cross-dresser. Sounds like an adventure. Um, so what's everyone up to? Anything interesting tonight? Still playing Super Smash Brothers. Awesome sniper. Hunter says listening to me while playing a bit of Elder Scrolls. Uh which game, Hunter? I'm not like super into Elder Scrolls, but I know there's a few different games. Keys? Oh my gosh. You know, I've never actually played through those.
online, but later between Oblivion or Skyrim later. Okay, that sounds interesting. Hey, welcome to chat, TJ. Name one negative about being your sort of species. Um, I would say one of the biggest negatives with opting for a fox persona is that that's like one of the most common. Um, but that's really my only complaint. It's like pretty much the majority are either foxes or wolves, which there's nothing wrong with either of those, but it feels a little less unique, I guess. Oh my gosh. So sometimes, for whatever reason, my brush glitches and it'll like send random lines off in like random directions. And I didn't realize that it had done that while I colored like a bigger section, but that's alright. I'm like. It seems like it's totally random when it does that, so I don't really know what causes it. You have to buy shampoo by the gallon, oh my gosh. I'm thankful that isn't actually the case, because that would be a huge pain. Your scrim would be ear splitting. Oh my gosh. It probably would be anyway. I don't usually scrim though. You could go with a mix of golden retriever and wolf, but notice unique original characters. You thought it was overkill, but you're unaware of the furry community standards. Oh my gosh. I mean, as far as the community standards, I would not say that there is any such thing as overkill in terms of like design, because I've seen like a lot of really interesting characters. Um, but yeah, I th I'd say you can't really go wrong as long as it's like appropriate, if that makes sense. Like, because there are some things that are like culturally unacceptable. Like, um, I don't know, I won't go into detail just because I don't like talking about it. 
Uh, let's see. So are you a Japanese fox or an American fox? Because one will make you more special and more trickster-like. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I guess between those options, like... I mean, with a name like Kurisu, probably leaning towards Japanese fox, but I mean, that might be considered culturally inappropriate because I am definitely from the U.S. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I just, I try to be considerate of other cultures. Let me see what the prop. Sorry. Um, I guess. Like. Because I see where you're coming from, Hunter, but um, I guess more or less, I just try to avoid cultural appropriation where I can. Because, like, there are some instances where, like, like, there are some instances where it's okay to, like, try to experience different parts of, like, another culture, but, like, then there are other things that, like, people kind of just frown upon, so you really just have to figure out what is considered appropriate and what isn't. And like, I, I kind of try to find the best middle ground, I guess.
Uh, so, uh, what else does everyone want to talk about tonight? I am up for pretty much anything. You're going through something and so on ad on Netflix is making a live action One Piece movie or show? That's interesting. And like, really, I could see that going either way. Because like... I don't know, my biggest complaint for the live action movies that Netflix has made from various anime series is that like... They try to put too much of the story in a single movie or like whatever they end up putting together. And then people end up getting upset because things are like rushed or out of order or like this or that. Um, or they like change the character design because it was easier to like, I don't know. Um. But yeah, really, as far as as far as the Netflix anime movies that I've seen, my biggest complaint is the one that they made of Death Note. I won't go into specifics, but basically, like, if you go in expecting it to be anything like the anime series, you're going to be really disappointed. Um, but I felt one like one that they did okay. Um. Like, I think they did Bleach and Full Metal Alchemist. And both of those were, like, okay, but not great. But how you expand your scope or learn anything, especially if you go to a foreign country but without experience. Um... I mean, I wouldn't, just because, like, I guess the best way to put what I mean is, like, I am against when people, like, try to basically adopt a culture as their own without any regards to the background of that culture. Like, if somebody's going to properly research and do everything correctly, like, I think that's okay. But if somebody just likes the way a certain style looks, like, that may or may not be appropriate to, like, base their aesthetic on, if that makes sense. Because, like, sometimes those are things that are, like, for certain cultural ceremonies or something, you just never know unless you do the proper research. Uh, I don't think I've seen Kakugari Avatar. I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, you're not missing out on most of them, Sniper. Uh, like I said, there are some that are alright, but for the most part, I don't really recommend the live-action movies on Netflix. Because, like, even some of the live-action anime adaptations that they've made, like, in collaboration with the original producers and stuff, don't always turn out well, so it really just depends on a bunch of factors, I guess.
Uh, King's Avatar is a Chinese anime, and Kakugari is about a rich kid's school with insane game. Oh! Give me a second, because I think I know the one you're talking about. Uh, because I think... Are you talking about Kakeguri? Yeah, because I've seen the anime, but I've not watched the live action. Yeah, that one is, um... I'll leave it an interesting. Like, it's definitely not a series that I would recommend to general audiences. But, I mean, if you want something that's kind of like out of the ordinary, that might be one that's worth looking into as long as you don't mind, um, like, gore. Like, not necessarily gore, but like, I know that there are some episodes that are kind of questionable in that regard. So I guess that's kind of like a trigger warning. The live action is just as good and has more background details. Interesting. One Piece anime is going into the peak of the that one, you know, chapter. I've actually never watched One Piece, so I have no idea. I've got to like anything that's going on with that. I know that there's like over a thousand episodes now or something.
the animation style is more kiddish and the abilities are goofy. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. Uh, basically, Luffy becomes all white and glowy and pretty much can bend reality to tune physics. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is probably going to sound silly, but knowing that, I almost think makes <laughs> One Piece worth watching. Because, like, that is the kind of complete nonsense that I live for. Well, it'll take about three weeks to binge, depending on how many episodes you watch a day. Um, so, when I binge watch an anime, um, I tend to do it all in one go. Obviously, in this particular instance, it would probably be uh, reckless to attempt to do so. But I... Let's see... I'd say I could pretty easily watch, like, 20 to 30 episodes of anime in one sitting if I wasn't doing anything else, but it really depends on what else I have going on. See, I've heard that Gintama is a good comedy series, but I've never actually watched it. Like, is it actually worth watching, or did you watch it just because you got far enough into it that you felt like you had to finish? If there was another Huey, like a clone, would Huey be upset or scared? Um, he would probably be really uneasy because uh he does not always well i don't know like 
He doesn't always like the dog in the mirror. Like, he, uh, doesn't usually bark, though. He's just kind of curious. good at spoofs anime in general, but they also do stuff like break down the fourth wall or they'll actually cut and explain why X in Japanese culture is relevant, and they also do when they're poking fun at another anime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, because like I've heard it's a really funny series, but That's one of those series that I would rather ask opinions before trying it out. There's also a full episode about why the show is about to get cancelled or why the time slot changed. Oh my gosh. This is explained by the characters of the show. That's amazing. Okay, definitely worth uh, considering. And I will most likely be adding that to my anime queue. I guess we're gonna find out when I save last.
There's a new series in the works where they will be poking fun at anime that has been made in the last five to ten years since they primarily made fun of the Gundam and Dragon Ball in the original series. Yeah, that's fair. I'm actually really curious about how that'll end up because there have been so, so many series made in that time frame. Okay, we didn't lose too much progress. It's up to redo the highlights on the feet, I guess. Secretly turns Huey into a pair. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you need the three head Hydra or Cerberus. Uh, I mean, Cerberus would make more sense, I guess. Because, like, I don't know, Hydras are usually more like reptilian, aren't they? You will be. Is that pearly or did you mean Perry?
early. <laughs> oh my gosh. Barely there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think you mean Ouroboros. Mike kept messing up what you're saying. Yeah, I understand. See, that's one of the big reasons why I like to clarify. Because, like, especially in text, sometimes it's just technical errors. Silence and dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I devour, I surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun. Secretly makes a lot of Huey clones. Oh my gosh, Sniper. One Huey is more than enough. We don't need more. That's funny. Here's Thunder again.
you wish it was raining where you are. Yeah, I understand. The rain is a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorite things, especially when there's a thunderstorm. There's a lot of cracks in the ground since it hasn't rained for the last few months. Oh my gosh. That sucks, Sniper. Also, since it hasn't rained, the grass got hard and it feels like you're stepping on thorns. Oh no. Yeah, it doesn't usually get like that here in Ohio, but sometimes it's like that in the fall. Definitely not in the middle of the summer, though. Go too fast where you live and I had to mow three times in two weeks. Ah, uh, that sucks.
All right, see you soon, sniper. Oh, what's everyone up to? I'm excited to finally almost be done with this. Because, like, we've been working on this particular piece for weeks. And that is usually not how long it takes to do something like this. Just because, like, there were several streams where I ended up having to go early just because of like the air conditioner not working. So like I'm so thankful that that's back up and running. Well, I'm glad that you've been amused by it, because, <laughs> like, I usually don't draw nonsense pieces, but it just seemed like a good time, so I'm like, okay, let's go with it. And now we're here.
you picture me sitting in front of the air conditioner like a kid with a fan. Believe it or not, I don't actually like being cold. Um, but it was one of those instances where I was pretty much comfortable with the temperature, but whenever I had my PC on, it was just a little bit too warm. Um, and Huey definitely agreed on that. Hey, welcome back, Sniper. Uh, you didn't miss too much, just working on the shading of the tail here. Yeah, I totally understand that, Hunter. Um, personally, I'm not really bothered too much by the heat. I was mostly concerned about Huey, just because he's not really made to handle it. But yeah, definitely. Um... I appreciate that I have an air conditioner because it makes it a lot easier to work on my computer. Because that's really the only time that it got unbearable in here was when the PC was running.
secretly gives Huey some beef pasta. Oh my gosh. And Cyrus wasn't feeling well due to the heat either. That sucks. Um, I don't know. Do cats like to play with ice? Because I know dogs do sometimes. If that might help Osiris stay cool. I'm not sure. Just throwing out ideas. Now we're just going to get our shading on the pair, and I think we'll call it a night after that. What if he had his own song album? Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. That sounds like a bit more than Huey needs to have. select the pair before we start shading because otherwise we're going to end up shading outside of the object. Yeah, so that was a great example of when my brush decides it wants to glitch because it just made that random line and I had to redo this. But thankfully it's never too much. 
It's a lot of the reason why I occasionally just pick up my brush so that I don't have like huge sections that I need to redo if I mess something up or if it does that. This drawing would look good on a shirt. Uh, I might consider it. Oh yeah, there's something else I wanted to add. Let's see. Not like us. Uh, it's gonna probably be in our airbrushes. Spray. Full splatter. Probably pepper spray. Use the flow, let's see. Make the spots bigger, not that big though. I'm gonna try. Make that bigger. Guys usually have the spots on them. Um, I've never really, like, I've considered selling shirts, but I just didn't know if people would be into them or not.
What if Huey was actually from space? Uh, I mean, with his personality, I would honestly not be surprised. A little bit of a highlight here on the, on the pair. Oh no, I accidentally did a thing. There we go. I always try to keep that color in my color palette.
just doesn't look right. I would usually put more effort into it. I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's see. So does that mean Huey came from a planet full of pears and he was brought to Earth because he fell inside a rocket pair and traveled thousands of years to Earth? Thousands of light years to Earth? I have no idea, Sniper. It's possible. But you never know. Uh, oh my gosh, you're ridiculous, Hunter. My tail is not for sale. Oh no, I did that on the wrong layer. <laughs> One moment. We're just gonna erase that. So that is our Kurisu fan canon art. Oh no, give me a moment. Um, I just realized that my layers are not showing on the screen. There we go. The height effect slowly turns into a fox. Oh my gosh. Curious uh, you tail keychain? No. <laughs> that would be way too big for a keychain. You probably wouldn't even fit it in your car. But it's fluffy. Effect increase magic rate and magic pool size by 75%. Um, it's more than that. Side effects slowly turns into a fox. Oh my gosh, you're all ridiculous. Um, but yeah. Um, I will most likely be posting this on Facebook if anyone wants to follow my page. Um, it's just facebook.com slash illustrations Or, facebook.com slash illustrations. Oh no. Sniper, you're ridiculous. Um, so yeah. Um, as far as the stream goes, I will be back on Friday evening, 8pm Eastern Time, 5pm Pacific for anyone who wants to stop by. Um, otherwise, we'll go ahead and find someone to raid real quick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 
downside, take 25% of all magic damage. I don't know about that. 299, oh my gosh. You sure it's not? Never mind. I was going to say, you sure it's not 350, but I am not the Loch Ness Monster, so it's not going to work out. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do we want to raid another art channel, or do you all want to watch games? Don't tickle me, I bite. Maybe you do paw keychain? No, I need my paws. Yeah. So, do we want to watch a single paw for good luck? Oh my gosh. Um. So I think I'm going to go ahead and raid Iron's channel, if you all want to give him a follow when we get there. Great. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for being here tonight, um, and I'll see you next time. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks again.